guys, I'm back with another action figure review today, and we're going to take a look at the Batman Unlimited Planet X Batman. So I'm really excited to review this for you guys because he did just come out. Um, my, this is actually my boyfriend's figure. He picked it up um, when we went to a mock time on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, I mean, like we walked into the store and they had this along with the Dark Knight Returns Batman just side by side on a shelf. And I right away, I just ran up and grabbed it and handed it to him because I knew he wanted it. And he was like, yes. And we were both really excited. Um, and he actually almost picked up the Dark Knight Returns Batman as well, but um, instead opted for the shiny new 52 Batman, which is also really nice and I will review in the future. So, um, yeah, um, as you can see, he also comes with Batmite, so we'll take a look at him and um, compare him to the Golden Age Batmite as well, which I know I haven't reviewed yet, but will also in the future. So, I'll just give you a look at the packaging first. So it is, you know, the nice unlimited packaging it has nice artwork on the side of the Batman, and Batmite is up there. Really shiny packaging. Sorry, the light is reflecting. <laughs> Very funny illustration of Batmite. Um, Planet X Batman. I'm not sure why they really decided to call it that instead of the Zuranar Batman, but um, what do you, you know, whatever. So yeah, you can see like it. It tells you all this stuff, you can pull it if you want, but yeah, Zeranar, and then again in the description it talks about Zeranar, so I don't know why they didn't just call it Zeranar Batman, because that's what pretty much everybody else calls it. Really nice artwork. I really like the unlimited packaging, and it looks like a lot of people agree. It's really nice. Um, and yeah, it shows you, so it looks like these two are the only ones in the, I don't, I don't know, if, I guess this is just a generic artwork, or... Uh, I'm not sure because as far as I know it's just this and the Dark Knight Returns Batman like in this wave um, and the Dark Knight Returns Batman though we didn't pick it up um, we did look at it in the package and it looked really nice guys so if you're you're looking for that definitely don't hesitate to pick it up if you can um, and yeah so let's take a look um, so let's say we'll do Batmite first since he's you know a little little guy we'll just take a quick look at him so, um, he's really, really cute. <laughs> he's got this, like, sourpuss face on. Um, really nice sculpting. It's a slightly different sculpt from the previous Batmite. I mean, it's not different, and only the face is different. I'll show you in a second. Um, our, this one has a little bit of, like, paint, um, like this rub on the logo on his chest. The emblem. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but no big deal. Um, yeah, you don't really see it from far away. But, um, you no, know, he's got a little cape and everything. It's really cute. I really like the Batmites. <laughs> they're, they're nice to just have sitting with the collection. Um, and he just has, uh, he doesn't have any head movement. Oh, he does. Okay. He moves side to side. No, up and down. And then his arms just go up and down. And his legs go forward. Well, they kind of go, um, like this. <laughs> they go around in a circle, which is strange, but, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, and let's just take a look next to the Golden Age Batmite. So they are the same body sculpt and the same ears, but the face is different um, because the Golden Age Batmite has a happy face. We go with the Golden Age Batman. Um, both really nice. I think they're both really cute. Um, so, yeah, that's Batmite. And we'll take a look at this one in the Golden Age Batman review once I get to my boyfriend's figures. And now we'll take a look at the Planet X Batman. Um, as you can see, he comes with a bat, which I'll show you first. Um, just, you know, again, it's it's got a bent handle, like most plastic accessories that come with figures. Um, but, you know, it's nicely detailed. It has, a, like, a black wrapping around the handle. So, you know, not, it's fine. And um, it's actually smaller than Harley Quinn's bat, which... I haven't put that review up yet, but um, I thought that was kind of funny that she's like got this really big bat and he has a smaller one. But uh, yeah, so take a look at the figure. Now he is a really nice. I mean, I I I really like it. I mean, it's you know it's mostly a typical D, uh, DC Universe Classics body mold, but um, uh, the head is new, and he's got a new cape, obviously, and um, these these details are really good. It's just, it's a really nice figure. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with the head. Uh, I mean, obviously you couldn't really use it for, like, another Batman. Um, it's, 
He's got um, stubble de like detail in the sculpt itself. Um, they didn't put any paint over it, which is a little strange. It it was weird because we looked at a few of the figures in the store, and and there was one that didn't have this like stubbly look, and I thought that was like I looked at it and I was like, well, that one looks better because because there's no paint. So you know, stubble usually is like a, a grayer color, but you know, it looks fine. Um, and he is supposed to have stubble according to the artwork, so it looks good. He's got like an angry face, but not quite the same look as Sinestro Core Batman. Um, and he's got the detailing on the head. But what I like about the head is that it's bigger than past Batman heads, um, and not just taller ears. I, I personally like tall-eared Batman, so, um, I like that, but, um, it, the head is just bigger, and he, it doesn't, for once, it doesn't look like he's got, like, a, a small head. So I really like that. Um, the detailing on the shoulder pieces is really nice. Uh, it looks like they were separate pieces that were glued on or one big separate piece that went over the neck and they, you know, they're spiky on the side you can see through the back of the cape there and then the emblem on the chest is very nicely painted looks good the belt is different I don't think we've seen this one before nothing special really, it has a little cell phone piece attached to it or whatever that is um, you know, just a thin sculpted belt all the way around. And then the cape is something else, man. I really like this cape. It's big. It goes, you know, really wide. It has these, the holes, they're all sculpted in here really nicely. It's nice and sturdy. Um, it's com The figures, um, this is purple, red, yellow, and purple, obviously. And um, it's strange because the purple's coming off kind of blue on my camera. I hope it doesn't really look that way when I upload it. But uh, anyway. So yeah, this is a really nice cape, and it would be, you know, could be cool for like a like a battle damage custom or something for other figure figures. But yeah, so you know, paint job straightforward though. It's all red, yellow, and purple, like I said. Um, no shading um, or highlights or anything that I can see. But it looks good nonetheless. The boots are the sculpted variety. You know, the thin sculpt. It's not, you know, nothing to write home about, but it's better than just the paint. So I like that. And um, the gauntlets have the spikes. And they are also sculpted right here, very lightly. Yeah, so he looks really cool, guys. And I'll just show you the articulation. Um, you know, typical head goes 360, but, uh, and then it goes uh, slightly up and chin to the cape but not 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 a lot of up and down standard bold disc shoulders bicep swivel single jointed elbows and a wrist swivel no glove swivel silly 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 but fine it's got an ab crunch decent range of motion, and I don't know if I showed this detail up close, sorry. He's got these stitch, like, stitches sculpted on. Looks really cool. So that's, so interestingly enough, I guess this, I mean, they technically had to make a new mold for that, I suppose, for the abs. But, uh, yeah. So he has a waist swivel. The split hinged legs. With a cut above the knee single jointed knee and ankle movement no boot swivel sadly but it's again the pointed pointed boot so not really gonna work there but uh, yeah guys so I'm really I'm really happy with the figure my boyfriend seems to be really happy with the figure he's really cool looking he he has a good articulation of course um, the Batmite is really cute. I mean, so he's just a, he's a winner, <laughs> really, um, I think. Um, so if you, you know, you like this story arc or you just like to collect every single Batman you can, <laughs> definitely recommend him. Um, I think we got him for 20 bucks at a mock time. S you know, and he, I, I don't know when he's going to hit, like, um, like retail like Walmart or whatever. 
Um, I I know that uh, the DC Unlimited uh, Shiny Superman and Flash have shown up on Walmart.com recently, past, maybe the past couple weeks. And so that's, you know, that was, a, what, m months after they hit comic shops? So I don't know about hitting retail, but these should be rolling into your comic shops really shortly if they haven't already. And, um, of course, you can order online from typical retail or action figure retailers, including a Mokton. And they're pretty cool over there, so I recommend them as a store as, as well. But, uh, yeah, guys, so this has been my review of the... Batman Unlimited, Planet X, or Zurinar Batman, and Batmite. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the figure. And uh, I will see you guys in future reviews. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.